Have you ever wanted a flying car? Or how about a personal transformer? As we propel ourselves into a new decade, we no longer have to dream. Technology has reached a point where cars have become a gateway to the future. With self-driving vehicles, supercars that can break land speed records, and a real-life Transformers bumblebee that can maneuver up and down stairs, we've taken a step into the automotive future. There's no CGI video effects here, people. Every inch of these cars is real. It wouldn't be a list of out-of-this-world cars without something from the brain of Elon Musk, right? After revolutionizing the electric vehicle industry with Tesla sedan, seven-seaters, and more recently a Roadster, the Tesla CEO introduced us to his latest pet project in late November 2019. This, ladies and gentlemen, is the Cybertruck, something that looks like it could take on a zombie apocalypse and survive. The electric vehicle will have an estimated battery range of 250 to 500 miles, a top speed of 110 miles an hour with a 0 to 60 time of 6.5 seconds and a 7,500 pound towing capacity. One of the vehicle's most futuristic highlights, aside from its design, is its indestructibility. At the demo, they took a sledgehammer to the truck's side panel without leaving as much as a scratch. The so-called bulletproof windows, however, ironically cracked when pelted with a steel sphere. Elon's response? Eh, room for improvement. Even still, Musk claimed that just a week after the unveiling, he'd already received 250,000 orders for the dystopian survival machine. The Cybertruck, which is intended to storm the American pickup truck market, will be sold with a base price of $39,900, reaching up to $69,900 for a tri-motor all-wheel drive model. At the moment, Ford's F-Series has been America's best-selling pickup for more than 40 years, with GM's Chevrolet Silverado close behind. Elon Musk wants to blow these out of the water with the Cybertruck. If you want to get your hands on one, Musk has declared they'll be starting mainstream production in 2021. Musk's Cybertruck is all about bold, harsh edges and an obtrusive metallic design. Our next revolutionary car is quite the opposite. Sleek, blending, and stylish. This is the Vision Mercedes-Maybach Ultimate Luxury, aka the SUL, a symbol of luxury of the future. As Mercedes attempt at a classy crossover between an SUV and a limousine, the SUL is their answer to the Rolls-Royce Cullinan and the Bentley Bentayga. Despite the never-before-seen shape, where this piece of art really shines is in the interior. Seriously, just take a look for yourself and tell us that you're not impressed. Sure, it has fancy pop-out door handles, 23-inch turbine-style alloy wheels, its own signature fragrance, and all the luxury touches you could ever imagine. But don't forget, this is a Maybach. That means there's plenty more than meets the eye. Under the hood is a 738 horsepower or 550 kilowatt motor, working to kick the car up to a top speed of 155 miles an hour. That's 250 kph. If this beast enters mainstream production, it will become the most expensive vehicle made in the United States, with a rumored starting price of $200,000, according to Motor One. Style is one thing, but can it climb stairs? Of course not, that's ridiculous, or maybe it isn't as crazy as it sounds. Ladies and gentlemen, allow us to introduce you to the Hyundai Elevate. Thanks to a set of extendable robotic legs, this concept car can easily walk or climb over obstacles, such as a 5-foot vertical wall or over a 5-foot gap. As you can see, the wheels are attached to the robotic leg mechanism. However, the wheels can also actually be taken off. That means that they can be replaced, with rugged stilts useful for traversing hard, uneven surfaces like a rocky desert. While this sci-fi style car is still in concept mode, the opportunities seem endless. Next up, say hello to the Rolls-Royce Vision Next 100, aka the Rolls-Royce 103EX. First introduced as a concept car back in 2016, it was the esteemed brand's first ever autonomous motor car. Make no mistake, this car is huge. At 19.4 feet long, Rolls-Royce's gateway to the future has enough room for all the luxury we've come to expect from the company, plus more. If you can take your eyes off those bizarre half-concealed wheels, check out the impressive door mechanism passengers can actually fully stand up before exiting the vehicle. It really does look like something we've brought back from the year 2035. Topping off the list of over-the-top luxury, the car even has its own built-in red carpet. How much is this going to cost us? According to Fortune, the one-off build is only $10 million. Chump change. Drifting in next is what Lamborghini is calling the sports car of the future, the Lamborghini Terzo Millennio. 
As the first product of a multi-year partnership with MIT's mechanical engineering department in Italy, the electric-powered Terzo Millenio was a head-turner as soon as it was announced. It's Lambo's premier hybrid car, a sleek machine that features an electric motor alongside Lamborghini's familiar 6.5-liter V12 engine. With those under the hood, it's said to be able to put out a whopping 838 horsepower, 625 kilowatts. One of the most amazing features of this futuristic supercar is the body paneling. Not only are they fully carbon fiber, but the fitted nanotubes can repair themselves if the factory fitted sensors detect any small cracks and dents. If you're thinking about getting your hands on one, not only will you need a check for $2.5 million, but you'll also need a miracle. Supposedly, there were only 63 units, and as you can guess, they've apparently been sold, every single one of them. SSC might not be one of the most well-known automotive brands, but it has plenty to boast about. The Washington-based American manufacturer, which we used to know as Shelby Supercars, has already made a massive statement in the supercar industry with the SSC Aero, the hypercar that managed to dethrone the Bugatti Veyron as the world's fastest production car at the time. Now, SSC has the 277 mile per hour Koenigsegg Agera RS in its sights, building a hypercar unlike any other to beat it. Its name, the Tuatara. According to SCC, it can reach over 300 miles per hour, which would make it the fastest car in the world. Not too hard to imagine, considering that it has a twin turbocharged V8 with a 1350 horsepower output Throw in some E85 ethanol fuel and that number soars to 1750 horsepower. This beast will set you back close to $1.6 million. But you better get in quick because the company already has two Atara orders to fill the first half of 2020. If all those high speeds from the two Atara are making you dizzy, then why not cast your eye towards luxury instead? Drivers rejoice because the Bentley EXP 100 GT is here. In celebration of the brand's 100th birthday, Bentley released this magnificent concept ride back in June of 2019, with the hope to have it on the mainstream market in 2035. While we could talk about its impressive range and horsepower, those are just numbers. The dazzling attraction of this car is its relationship with the environment. Allow us to elaborate. It's a zero emissions vehicle with a stylish leather-like interior that's made 100% from the waste products of winemaking. Why not include it? Plus, thanks to a relationship with the Fendland Black Oak Project, the cabin trims are made from 5,000-year-old copper-infused riverwood. Bentley has taken the notion of a future car with fully autonomous capabilities and built it with a sustainable mindset and the sustainable materials that will ensure that there'll actually be a future to drive it. Our next cab off the rank is Renault's beautiful vehicle of tomorrow, the Renault Trezor. After debuting at the 2016 Paris Motor Show, it's toured around the world and given motor enthusiasts a look at Renault's new direction. Along with being capable of autonomous driving, the electric Trezor sports a number of unique design elements, including the amazing single-piece clamshell roof. It extends skyward in order to let passengers climb in and out with ease. Who says that electric cars can't be fast? According to Renault, this sleek sports car rocks a motor that sends 350 horsepower and 280 pounds to feet of torque to the rear wheels, which can propel the vehicle from zero to 60 miles per hour in under four seconds. Add in a top speed of 155 miles or 250 kilometers per hour, and it's clear that this environmentally friendly two-seater coupe is no slouch. At this stage, the Trezor is still just a one-off concept car, but the company has said that we'll likely see many of its internal and external elements slapped on newly produced Renaults in the coming years. Following suit, take a gander at the streamlined BMW Vision Next 100. Like Bentley, BMW, which owns Rolls-Royce by the way, has just turned 100. And what do you do when you turn 100? Celebrate. To commemorate the occasion back in 2016, the company put out the BMW Vision Next 100 concept car. The advanced vehicle features handless doors and an interactive AI-based windshield and dashboard system called Companion. According to BMW, Companion provides the driver with subtle intuitive assistance in every situation. Or of course, you can let the vehicle drive itself while chilling out in the so-called ease mode. On the outside, the geometric design features encapsulated wheels and an astounding reptile-like lighting system. Seriously, that's pretty neat. It's all held together in a carbon fiber and plastic casing. Remember, unlike metals, carbon fiber and plastic don't rust. 
so that means the car can stay on the ground unaffected by the elements for longer. But who says that our cars have to stay on the ground? We already have enough traffic as it is. Enter the one and only Bell Nexus Air Taxi. Conventional? No. Eye-catching? Absolutely. Unveiled at the CES convention in 2019, this massive flying hybrid cross of a helicopter and a car sells itself as the future of rideshare. Having already been tested in Dallas, Texas, Dubai, and Los Angeles, Bell hopes that the electric flyers can become a mainstream transport method by 2025. These things are capable of flying up to 150 miles or 250 kilometers and are equipped with a high-tech cockpit and control joysticks. Would you be comfortable letting these bad boys travel high in the sky? Speaking of flying high in the sky, have you ever wondered why planes don't fly over the North Pole? Or how about the strict rules that pilots have to follow in the air? Check them out. Thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe. We'll see you next time.